Ko Kim Yen. In this Cambodian name, the surname is Ko. In accordance with Cambodian custom, this person should be referred to by the given name, Kim Yen. Ko Kim Yen, Khmer, is the former commander-in-chief of the Royal Armed Forces of Cambodia and currently one of the ten deputy prime ministers of Cambodia. He is considered as a highly professional officer with a realistic approach to the challenges before him. Biography Ko Kim Yen had no Khmer Rouge background. He had originally distinguished himself in the People's Republic of Kampuchea military ranks as a commander fighting Pol Pot Khmer Rouge guerrillas in northwest Cambodia and had then become secretary of the RPPK committee and chairman of the provincial administration for Batambang province. Losing the 1993 election Along with Aung Sami and Hul Savern, General Ko Kim Yen was among the original candidates of the Cambodian People's Party in the province of Batambang during the 1993 general election. The overwhelming victory of the Royalist Party Funsenpec in that province proved a bitter political blow to these powerful men. After King Noradam Sihanouk proclaimed a post-election interim coalition government of Funsenpec and the CPP on June 3, 1993, Sihanouk remained uppermost high commander of a multipartite Cambodian armed forces proclaimed on June 10, but Ko Kim Yen was named chief of the armed forces Supreme General Staff in replacement of Pol Sarun, and with deputies including general officers from both Funsenpec, Nek Bunch Hay, and the CPP, represented by Pol Sarun. Restoring the Unity of the Cambodian Royal Armed Forces Ko Kim Yen was the head of the powerful General Political Department of the Cambodian People's Armed Forces before being named Chief of Staff of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces. In the early 1990s, despite financial difficulties and lack of human resources, he was in charge of the difficult mission of uniting the various rebel military movements such as those led by Nek Bun Chai and reintegrate them into the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces. Dot with written orders from Prince Noradam Ranarid and co-prime minister Hun Sen, General Ko Kim Yen sold 30,000 cubic meters of allegedly already felled timber which had been confiscated in Ko Kong, in order to raise money to fund the 1995-1996 dry season offensive on the last Khmer Rouge positions during the Battle of Palin. In 1995, as chief of staff, General Ko Kim Yen had to demobilize part of the 130,000 strong army, as part of the reform process, while allegations emanated from the United Nations that he had engaged in forced conscriptions in order to find soldiers to fight on the Thai border. Meanwhile, he was sometimes considered dangerously soft on Untak and Funsenpec by the government of Cambodia, as he tried to walk on the narrow path between the Untak on one side and Cambodian politics on another. In May 1997, General Ko Kim Yen led the Khmer delegation in the first meeting of the Border Peacekeeping Committee between Thailand and Cambodia. Avoiding Bloodshed During the Coup of 1997 Between unstable years from 1993 and 1997, General Ko Kim Yen had to face no less than four coup attempts. During the successful coup in July 1997, the military led by Commander-in-Chief, General Ko Kim Yen, CPP, and the CPP Minister of the Interior, Sar Kang, refused the use of force despite direct orders from Hun Sen which were executed only by key military forces participating under the authority of Pol Sarun, and with the help the private security and financial support of powerful tycoons such as Ting Bunma, Sok Kong, and Mong Rethi. General Ko Kim Yen instructed all units of the armed forces that all units must stay at their base, and no troop movements were allowed without orders from the General Chief of Staff, avoiding even more bloodshed. After the coup, Prime Minister Hun Sen gave his gun made of solid gold to Chief of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces, General Ko Kim Yen, now kept in the National Museum of the Military as a symbol of the massive surrender of weapons in order to return to peace in Cambodia after the coup. Leading Cambodian Military Diplomacy General Ko Kim Yen, Chief of General Staff, Ministry of Defense of Cambodia led a three, 
member delegation for participation in the Aero India 1998 at Bangalore from 6 to 14 December 1998. After Hun Sen resigned as Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces in 1999, the Prime Minister elevated General Ku Kim Yen, who was the former Chief of the General Staff, as the new Commander-in-Chief. In October 1999, Ku Kim Yen, Commander-in-Chief of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces, led a senior military delegation to Beijing to discuss China's offer of military assistance, in what was the highest diplomatic visit to China since 1993 and the return of King Sihanouk from China, and has since then resulted in the generous military support of China for Cambodia. Between Crisis and Promotion as Deputy Prime Minister In 2005, Hun Sen publicly attacked General Ku Kim Yen, saying that the general would be fired if he disobeyed orders because the prime minister controlled the armed forces. In January 2009, General Ku Kim Yen was removed from his post as commander-in-chief of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces and was replaced by his deputy, General Paul Sarun, the new commander-in-chief of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces. While it was believed that this resulted from an internal dispute within the Cambodian People's Party and others accused Ku Kim Yen of being caught in shady land deals, the move was presented as an ordinary reshuffle within the military it has been said that General Ku Kim Yen was promoted to the position of Deputy Prime Minister, not only because of his proximity with Chia Sim, but more specifically due to his widespread support in the military. Family General Ku Kim Yen is related by marriage to Sar Kang, who is also the brother-in-law of the belated Chia Sim. Legacy Demoning Cambodia Chief of General Staff Ku Kim Yen is not only credited with defeating the remaining Khmer Rouge soldiers after the return of the monarch in Cambodia in 1993, he has also contributed significantly to the effort of demoning Cambodia which kept mines as wounds since the Cambodian Civil War. It is reported that from 1993 to 2002, the engineering forces of the Cambodian army have liberated 4,288,913 hectares from mines. Reforming the Cambodian Military After uniting the various rebellious factions into one military force under the banner of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces, General Ku Kim Yen has also strived to reform the military to international military standards. As such, the United Nations consider him as the strongest backer for military reform. Who wishes to transform the RCAF into a sufficiently professional force such that it could take part in future peacekeeping missions?